On this episode of Canine Corner, it's all about starting the new year off on the right paw. We'll be sharing paw solutions for you and your pup. We'll stop by an event in Torrance that benefits a local rescue organization. Plus, we'll be talking about New Year's pet safety tips. We'll introduce you to this adorable little guy who's looking for a forever home. All this coming up right now on Canine Corner. I'm Rhiannon Drutanich, your host for Canine Corner, the show that your dog will give two paws up. We have a great show for you today. The new year is here and we are all about starting 2020 off on the right paw. My co-host Popeye Drutanich will be joining me to share some ways to help you and your pup have the best year yet. And we'll check out Pugtacular, an event put on by Pug Nation Rescue of Los Angeles, who you might remember from the show. And Jean Brusovich from Tranquil Pet, Canine Aquatics, and Holistic Healing Center will be sharing some New Year's pet safety tips. But first, as we kick off the new year, let's say hi to a few rescue dogs who you might recognize who are still looking for their forever homes. So Pug Nation has been around for about eight years now. We're very, very lucky. We have a facility that's 24 hours, seven days a week. So we have um, staff all day long, all year round. Um, which is great because people can come and visit us and see the dogs and interact with them. And it's just, it's just awesome. Our staff is so good. They work so hard taking care of these kids. And we're located in Gardena, California, which is about 20 minutes south of LAX Airport. We're open Tuesday through Sunday, 12 to 4, so visitors can come in and, and hang out with the dogs for a little bit if they want to. You can also like fill out applications there if you want to do adoption or foster or things of that nature. We also have the HIPPO program um, is for people who either can't have a dog right now um, for whatever reason, if their home doesn't allow it or if they have a dog in the home that doesn't like other dogs, they can come in um, and spend an hour one day a week um, with an assigned pug. They can spend more time if they want to, but um, they'll come in and spend time with that pug and just hang out with them and love on them. And some of our hippos take their kiddos to the beach or for puppuccinos at Starbucks. And um, they keep journals. And once that dog gets adopted, the journal goes home with them. Um, so their family has kind of more tidbits about their personality and things that they like or don't like. Um, so it's a really great program. So there's a lot going on at our facility. We do events. Um, adoption events a couple times a month and we have a couple of big events a couple times a year so um, definitely check out our website pugnationla.org all the information you could ever want about what we do is there so this is Lexi Lexi's 12 um, Lexi was relinquished to us by her owner um, and she was actually relinquished in some pretty bad shape her eyes were really red and dry she had some skin infections nose infection um, we got her on some good medication, started giving her medicated baths, and I don't know if you can really see, but her eyes are pretty clear. They still get kind of green and goopy because she's got dry eye, which is typical for pug. Also, her eyelashes kind of scrape against the eyeballs, and so that causes some irritation too. But she's happy and <laughs> wouldn't know any difference. She's easygoing. I mean... The dogs will kind of wrestle around her. She doesn't try to fight anybody. Like she's just, she's so mellow and just so loving. And, and other than that, she's in pretty good shape. She just recently had a dental, so clean breath for kissing. And yeah, she's really, she's awesome. She's awesome. This is Ertz. Ertz is eight years old. Ertz was found um, clipped to a fence at a veterinary clinic. Um, we're not sure how long he'd been there. Poor guy was like scared and everything. He's with us now obviously and he's doing really well. We did notice when he first got to us there was a little bit of fence aggression um, but as, as we've watched him it, it seems more that his he's just so excited about people and being around the action that that's what makes him kind of crazy because he doesn't know how to shake off all that energy. So although he's eight on paper he's more like three in person because <laughs> he's got tons of personality very social very curious very smart he's funny really really active definitely needs a secure home secure yard because he would give Houdini a run for his money he's an escape artist extraordinaire so um, <laughs> definitely need to keep an eye out for him 
Um, Ertz does have um, immature cataracts, so it's the beginning stages of cataracts, but as of right now, his sight is good, no medications needed. As he ages, it'll probably become an issue where um, there's a chance he could lose some of his sight, but right now, not a problem at all. Um, I think the things we love most about Ertz um, is his little tongue sticks out every once in a while, and when you talk to him, he's got the classic pug head tilt. Um, but he's, he's awesome. He's awesome. He just needs um, a family that's patient with him, you know, just because he might need a little bit of training um, and just to kind of understand his excitement ways and sometimes he tries to like play bite your finger and things like that. So, um, but he'd be an awesome addition to any home for sure. This is Candy. Um, she's about nine years old. She was an owner relinquishment. Um, they were thinking about euthanizing her, so good thing that they found us. She's been with us for a little over a year. She has a special needs dog. We believe that's the reason why. She needs to be expressed every, we do it at the facility every four to five hours. Um, but sometimes we don't get that much from her because a lot of the day she spends sleeping. So she's not taking in water or eating all day. She's very playful. She still likes to play. She still likes to go on walks, although they do need to be kept short because of her hind end weakness. She loves cuddles. She does well with other dogs. She's just all in all a great dog to have around. If you are interested in adopting one of the dogs, please contact Pug Nation Rescue of Los Angeles by visiting PugNationLA.org or call 310-327-7871. Again, 310-327-7871. Those dogs are so cute. Now we introduced you to a lot of dogs last year and many of them have been adopted. Let's say hi again and meet their forever families. My co-host Popeye Jurjanich and I are all about New Year's Paw Solutions. So we're going to share some ways that you and your pup can start 2020 off on the right paw. Happy New Year! Popeye and I are going to help you set the stage for 2020. New Year's resolutions are very popular, so popular that 60% of us make them. And according to U.S. News and World Report, 80% of those resolutions fail by February. Yikes, Popeye. So we suggest implementing the buddy system. It's much easier to keep up on a new workout program or keep up on a hobby or even brush your teeth more if you have a buddy. And there is no better buddy than your canine companion. So we're gonna help you both make positive changes. Health and nutrition is a great place to start because coming off of the holidays and all the amazing holiday foods, right Popeye? There is a lot of room for improvement and your dog is no exception. You should of course always check with your dog's vet before making any changes to his or her diet or food type, but there are a couple things that you can do. 
The first thing is you should always read the labeling on your dog's food. Whether you're feeding your dog dry food or canned wet food, or the good stuff as Popeye calls it, you're always gonna wanna read the labeling right here on the back. You should read the ingredients and you should also read the portion sizes. On the dry food, it'll be on the back of the packaging and it'll tell you based on your dog's size and weight exactly how much you should be feeding your dog, specific to him or her. I'll just put that right there for now, Popeye. <laughs> Now, once you know how much you should be feeding your dog, you should use a scoop or a measuring cup that has exactly how many cups or however many you wanna like feed your dog per day. So right here I have Popeye's scoop. It has a half a cup, a cup, a cup and a half, and two cups. It's all measured right there, huh, Popeye? So I know exactly how much I'm feeding him because you wanna make sure that your dog isn't getting too little food or too much food, and this is the most accurate way to figure that out. Huh, Popeye? <laughs> now, the final thing that you can do is you should remember to wash your dog's bowls. Sometimes we forget just because we feed them day in and day out, but it's very important to wash your dog's bowls just as we wash our own dishes and cups and bowls as well. Now you can wash them in warm soapy water or some of them are dishwasher safe. Just make sure to check on the bottom of the bowl. You can even write it down in a calendar or in your smartphone. Calendar, you can just mark it down. If you have this on your refrigerator, you can just mark down which day, oh, you look good in this calendar, Popeye, which day you wash your dog's bowls, just so you can keep track of it and make sure that you're washing it pretty frequently. The new year is a great time to create new habits or get your schedule back on track after things got a little crazy during the holiday season. A great habit to start with your dog is exercising more. You're more likely to stick with something if it's less stressful, so maybe just adding in a walk a morning or two during the week or the evening if it's more conducive to you and your dog's schedule is a great way to kind of add that in without making it too stressful or too much pressure. If a walk isn't an option for you, you can take your dog in the backyard, maybe throw a tennis ball or a frisbee just to kind of get that extra exercise in and maybe get your dog a little bit more fresh air. Now, another thing that you can do, which is something that I think Popeye and I need to work on this year, is brushing your dog's teeth. It's a great habit. You should, of course, talk to your dog's vet before you start anything new like this but you can get your dog his or her own toothbrush. Popeye has his here. And even, I know you don't like it, Popeye, and even doggy toothpaste. Uh, you don't wanna use human toothpaste, of course. You wanna get toothpaste made especially for dogs. You just put a little bit on the brush. I won't do this to Popeye right now because he brushed his teeth this morning. But put a little bit on, you just scrub like you would brush your own teeth. And I will say a couple treats with this go a long way. If you give any of these ideas a try, reach out and let us know. You can tag us on social media using hashtag canine paw solutions. Popeye and I are gonna go head out on a walk, isn't that right, Popeye? To start the new year off right. We're gonna take a short break, but don't go anywhere. There's much more doggone fun when we come back. Welcome back to Canine Corner. I'm your host, Rhiannon Trutanich. You may have met many of Pug Nation Rescue's adoptable dogs on our show, but did you know they hold an event right here in Torrance every year? Let's check out Pugtacular and learn more about this rescue organization. Every fall, Pug Nation Rescue of Los Angeles hosts Pugtacular. 
the event that brings dog lovers together for a fun community day. Our main goal is for community, but it's also a fundraiser. So we have costume contests, we have vendors who support us, we have silent auctions, people could buy stuff, we have food. So it's basically a community event and a fundraiser. The event features a variety of different activities, including food, vendors, and games throughout the day, but one activity might be the crowd favorite. The most exciting activity is the costume contest. So we have three, um, we have senior contests, pure pug and all breeds, so all dogs are welcome. So we have the costume contest, we have adoptions, we have about 12 of our dogs here. Raffle, you know, we'll be calling raffle numbers, so there's a lot going on. The Pugtacular event is an annual event that Pug Nation hosts every year, and every year it continues to grow. It's the 8th annual. The event has grown quite a bit. I think when we first started, we only had a couple vendors. Maybe 100 people would come. But over the years, I think this year we may have 13 vendors. We have more food. We have a photo booth. And we're expecting between two and 300 people. So it's grown quite a bit over the years. And as the event grows, so does the awareness about dog adoption. Events like this do help raise awareness because people that aren't usually fans of Pug Nation may see the event. They come, and of course we have the pugs here, and then they start getting hooked into the pug life. So it definitely helps raise awareness. And there were even adoptable pugs at the event, hoping to find their forever home. So this is uh, Bubba, they, and this is a Mater. They're both 12 years old and nine months. Uh, they are wonderful pugs. They were owner relinquished at the Pug Nation Rescue of Los Angeles and Gardena. They are bonded, which means they have to come as a pair. Bubba here actually stands for big brother to Mater, <laughs> so he really looks out for him. He is actually the talkative one. He's the preppy one. He's the, he's the more active one. Yes. When they first came to Pug Nation, they were a little bit on the heavyweight side. So they were placed on a special diet. They're now in a very good shape, ready to be adopted. So we are very excited to present to you Baba and Mater. And we are hoping to find them a great home, a forever home. And they will go well with any family that's willing to give them the love and the attention that they deserve. Yes, yeah, so once again, this is Baba and Mater. Those in attendance understand the importance of dog adoption and how big of an impact it makes. Well, these dogs need a lot of help. There's so many dogs that, that need homes and they bring us a lot of love and they bring other people a lot of love and we just love them and people should definitely rescue. I mean, there's way too many rescues available. And uh, yeah, people need to rescue these little guys and any dog. Good thing to give them a second chance to help them out like they need help to, to love them and care for them. The event is not only a nice way to spend the day with your pup, but it also helps promote adoption. It's so important to raise awareness about adoption because when people think of pugs, they think, okay, a pure breed and a, a pug would never be in a shelter. But we've rescued in our eight years we've been around, we've rescued and rehomed over 1,500 dogs and all of them were homeless, whether they were in a shelter or turned in. So people need to be aware that every breed needs to be rescued and how pugs really are in desperate need of rescue. And for those who were not at the Pugtacular event, there are still ways to get involved and help get dogs adopted. People that can't make it here can get involved in so many ways. We have um, other events throughout the year. We have online Facebook drives. Even just sharing our social media really helps raise awareness. You know, this social media age, we could put a dog on and if people share the dog, the dog will get a home. So there's a ton of ways they could send in money. They could sponsor a pug remotely and um, we give them updates as to what their money is going to. So there's a ton, a ton of ways to get involved, even if you're not in California. If you are interested in learning more about Pug Nation Rescue of Los Angeles, please visit PugNationLA.org or call 310-327-7871. Again, 310-327-7871. The number one way to start the new year off right is to keep your canine companion safe. 
Gene Brusovich from Tranquil Pet, Canine Aquatics, and Holistic Healing Center is here to share some New Year's pet safety tips. How can I keep my dog safe on New Year's? New Year's noise. This is a big one. Those poppers, confetti, if they end up swallowing that, that can be caught in their intestines. The noisy poppers can also scare them, hurt their ears. You just never know what these kind of noises. New Year's, if you're going out, lock them in a room with maybe the TV going so they don't hear the stuff going off at, at, at midnight that might hurt their ears. Make sure they have water. It's cool, safe. Have, you know, like I said, have a radio or the TV going. Canine Corners is always a good one. Keep them secure and keep them, you know, safe and calm. Should I check my smoke detector batteries at the beginning of the year? Can that sound hurt my dog's ears? Batteries, this is just, this is actually a year round thing. The batteries on your smoke detectors, when they give off that high pitched beep, that hurts their ears. Don't leave old batteries around because that stuff in there, if they chew on those, that's highly toxic to them. What is Tranquil Pet Canine Aquatics and Holistic Healing Center? Tranquil Pet is a canine uh, swimming and holistic healing center that I have created and developed. I specialize in swimming elderly, arthritic, overweight dogs. They can't do those regular long walks anymore. Mm -hmm. So because swimming is non-weight bearing, mm -hmm. it helps continue to keep their leg muscles uh, toned and developed so they have no problems walking. I also swim to help them get over the fear of the water. I also can go to someone's home and help teach the, the dog where the stairs are and how to get out of the pool because many dogs have um, drowned because they fall into a pool and they keep trying to get out by the side and they can't and they don't know where the stairs are so it's very easy for them to understand where the stairs are. So I'm also certified in small animal massage by that I mean any small animal up to like a Great Dane, no horses and no snakes. I'm sorry, I, I don't do snakes. <laughs> I can either massage your dog myself, you bring your dog to me for a massage, or I have a class that's called BYOD, bring your own dog to class, and I teach you how to give your dog a relaxation massage. You're not going to learn how to break up scar tissue or a deep tissue massage, it's just you and your dog. Uh, I mean, it is a class of like 10 to 15 people with their dog, so your dog does have to be people and pet friendly. Um, I do have individu individual one-on-one -on -one classes with you and your dog if you want, but usually I do it in a group. If you are interested in contacting Jean or Tranquil Pet, Canine Aquatics and Holistic Healing Center, please visit TranquilPet.com. If you have a question, contact us and we'll be sure to get you the right answer. Call us at 310-618-5762 or email us at caninecorner at torrentca.gov. Now, if you missed the rescue pups at the beginning of our show, or if you're anything like me and want to see the adorable dogs again, here's your recap. Lexi is a 12-year-old pug. She's a super sweet dog. She loves spending time with humans and loves belly rubs. She's very easygoing. She would love to be your best friend. Ertz is an eight-year-old pug. He is very smart and very active. He has a lot of energy and would love to be your companion. Candy is a nine-year-old pug. She is very playful. She loves cuddling and she likes going on walks. She has a great personality and would love to be a part of your family. If you are interested in adopting one of the dogs, please contact Pug Nation Rescue of Los Angeles by visiting PugNationLA.org or call 310-327-7871. Again, 310-327-7871. One more New Year's tip for the road. If you want even more Canine Corner or just want to say hello, or share a photo of you and your pup's paw solutions with us. We always love to hear from you. Be sure to like our Facebook page and follow me on Instagram and Twitter. That's all the time we have today. Thanks for joining us here on Canine Corner. I'm Rhiannon Chertanich and we'll see you next time.